Another cold, hard winter for the skateboarders of Montreal. The streets were still frozen, but the skaters' hearts were bubbling with steam as the ice slowly melted when the pros came to town. ES Demo in Montreal. Denny Fairfax, Scott Fouquet, Eric Costin, Rick McClain, and Justin Elgin. bus rolled into town carrying some of the greatest skaters around. The DC team popped out for a quick demo in the parking lot. Ryan Smith, Josh Callis, Jimmy Asselford, Colin McKay and others performed their newest mean tricks for the kids. When I heard this beat, I got an erection. Girl, in my direction, stare with glaring. Dump your ass, put your name is Sharon. Never caring, it's a full of silver cocaine. Each never sharing, make your money. Number one drama can bring the spirit blaring. Ripping off my hair, I swear, I'll get the f*** out of here. Shake your top Okay, so Josh, how many tours do you think that you've been on so far in your skateboarding career? I don't even want to begin to think of how many, man. A lot, a lot. You can't take it for granted, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you get the opportunity, you gotta just do it. And most of the time, it's fun. Mackay, but it's Mackay, correct? Correct. Colin Gerald Mackay. Yep. Iris? Scottish. Sorry. Scottish! Yeah. When you're touring, what keeps you sane? Don't leave home longer than two weeks. Stay away from Europe. Carry cash. Uh, like internet at the hotel, though. Right What's your dog's name? This dog? Reggie Noble. Red dog. See his little color? Reggie McKay. My phone, num my phone number's on there too. Give me a call. We'll hang out. Yeah, there's so many good kids coming out of Canada right now. Coming out of the East Coast, coming out of Vancouver. There's tons of them. I mean, a lot of the young RDS guys, but I mean, there's all sorts of dudes coming up from Vancouver. Canada, Canada's gonna be taken over here. That's right, when my drinking goes empty bottle, my flows are going full throttle. I gotta make it in this shit, I'm not gonna be a supermodel. God has different plans on how to follow, no instruction, no instructions. Life leads on life like it was such and it's fucking me up like love and no love and return. Burn, no concern, I'm waiting my turn. Feel my stomach turn, I feel the nauseous from the pearls and we smoke. I guess I had too much yo, I should've known it when I started the show. I pass it out, I'm freaking out from bad dreams, I'm whacking seeds, I wanna be. How many skate tours have you been on so far? I've been on a lot of tours actually, but this one's like probably one of the biggest ones I've been on. It's pretty cool too. Like we've been all over the world and stuff, so I'm happy I came on it. What keeps you sane when you're on the road? Basically just my skateboard. Like if I get stuck in the room, I'll go out and skate flat ground for like a couple hours and I don't know, go to clubs every once in a while kids that would like to get into the position where you are, what would your advice for them be? Keep skating, you know, stay with it, basically that's it, just have fun at what you're doing and, I don't know, stay true to yourself, I guess. Kind words of wisdom, folks, kids, live by his example.
Up next, the Lakai Demo, RDS Demo, Hot Shot Contest, and a Mystery Demo. Our cameras were there to capture two skateboard legends, Rick Howard and Mike Carroll, play on the street course with the rest of the Lakai team, including Montreal's own Carl Labelle. This is how we multiply. Pity that it's not my wife. The friction and skill. The Swarmed into Montreal for an RDS demo. The boys in RDS shine like stars as they threw down trick after trick. Mr. Jam on the beat. What? Yeah. Doing this shit a minute, kid. Talk to me. Yo, it was all a dream. Me and my brother shot Kim and Rakim. A black crib puffing LC and ourselves on the screen. Our pictures in the magazine. We up in the limousine. And sway Bally silk shirts and jeans with the Gucci seats. I beat boxing niggas slow till we was dizzy. My manager Mo Chuck Fresh, G Money with Louie and Lizzie. Those was my favorite days when I turned back the page. And every day we did a show. The staircase was the stage. And yo, the name of the group, it was Rasha Shah. Whoever thought that hip hop would make it this far? At 16, we did our first real show. At the Mickey Yo.
skaters from around Montreal came to South Park on April 25th, 2004 to prove that their shop sponsor is the best in town at the Hot Shop Contest. Stop shoveling coal into the hole. Engines blazing hotter than the center of the earth is. Don't achieve personal goals. Your life is worthless. What's the purpose? Please be seated while I serve this. Is finding out the meaning of life make you nervous? Open up the engines, better let them roar. Paint a pick with the dish, then garnish with a metaphor. Work the tracks and bring the knowledge to the people. See, stop in every town and we make our delivery. On a tight schedule indeed. Quite specifically, pack you in the stack, leave you smoke like hickory. Maliciously, I make you history. I got the gift in me. Sixth, if you're catching me, slip through a brick in me. Sick to me. All the fucking lies and the trickery. Society, swallow my pride. I got a slip of beans. Snake back was rightfully mine, cause it was stolen. I stake out the enemy lines, but they're patrolling. I've got one trick on my sleeve that seems to help. We must protect the product we produce to ourselves. They took my tremendous ideas and they abused them. Honest man came to my aid and they accused them. Well, I was coming up with a way to cure evil. They stole my information and used it for pure lethal. We dropped things twice, so they're shouting for the sequel. So we load it on the train and we bring it to the people. Eye to eye, rides coast to coast with heavy cargo. In the North Dakota, made a near stop in Fargo. Boys at Empire were shining today and they took first place. The Underworld crew took second while Spin took third. Up next, Jamie Thomas and the Mystery and Zero Team. It's not a mystery anymore that the guys of Mystery are one of the best skateboard teams around. This demo was half Mystery and half Zero demo, but nothing was half ass. Okay, so we're sitting here with uh, Jamie Thomas, skateboard legend, if you don't want me saying so. 
after the uh, Mystery Zero demo at the South Park Skate Park. So, Jamie, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. We had a lot of fun. Did, did you enjoy the turnout? The kids' response stoked you out? Yeah, it's cool. There's a little bit of a language barrier, obviously, you know, but it's cool. Like, it's hard to communicate with kids and ask them to move a little bit. They don't understand or they don't want to understand. I don't know. What do you think you'd be doing right now if you'd never started skateboarding? I couldn't even imagine it, you know. Skateboarding consumes so much of your life that, you know, you can never imagine what you'd be doing. Like, you know, they had the, they had a skateboarder article, you know, in Skateboarder Magazine, and I just guessed at, you know, a rodeo guy, you know, because I grew up in Alabama and there was a lot of cowboys around and whatever, and, you know, I could see something, you know, the rodeo paralleling, you know, minus beating up cattle. I see it paralleling to skateboarding, you know. My favorite thing about skating is, is that you can make it whatever you want. It's yours. It's not anybody else's, and you can do whatever you want with it. You can have fun. You can not have fun. You can stress. You can cruise down the street. You can do whatever you want, and that's amazing. There's not really anything else like that. I mean, people compare it to art, and it's similar because in art, you can do whatever you want, but it's just how it's going to be perceived. But skateboarding, you don't really care, and people either like you or they don't, and you just do what you want to do, and it's amazing. How did you enjoy the demo today, Ryan? Well, Scotty, let me tell you, this is one of the greatest demos that I've actually uh, come in attendance or like attended. You know, uh, it's the first time the mystery team's been together, and I'm uh, very thankful it's in my home country of Canada. It's been an excellent demo, and it's been a great time. Now, who gave you your start in the public eye? Well, basically, it was like the McKinley brothers in the local shop, Island Snow, and Jeff Brown, and all these dudes helped me out. But uh, the actual boiling point of my uh, blossoming into a professional skateboarder would probably be back when Moses the Conan tracked me down from a contest and then start, put me on RDS and the ball just started rolling from there. How is the professional life treating you? How is that proverbial fat cash? Well, it's great, you know what I mean? It treats me really good. I don't really know any better or any different, you know what I mean? So I can't really compare it to like say nine to five because I've actually never had a job, but you know, it's pretty great. People think like, oh, you're making so much money now, but you just got to condense it because you're only a professional skateboarder for X amount of years. And if you work your ass off nine to five for 30 years, probably the money's going to balance out, but just more at a sh shorter intervals. watching future under attack shows for more core skateboarding action. Get off your ass and go skate. Oh. Oh.